I just came back from like the weirdest locals ever. Uh, there will be a channel on Lucas's, or there will be a video on Lucas's channel from his deck profile. We both just played Spirits because why not? But it was kind of weird. Uh, so it was a free tournament, and we played four rounds of Swiss, and then played out top four, and then everyone in top four got five dollars, and first place got an Ulti Thunder King, as well as like a shit ton of other cards. And second place got like a secret mirror force and a couple other cards. So what happened was Lucas and I played our first three rounds without playing each other. Uh, last round we were the only two undefeated, so we just split. Uh, in top four, we both played each other's um, round three opponent. And then we both won, so we were both undefeated and we just kind of split up the cards, and I gave Lucas some of my prize money, but, like, so I got, like, $30 of cards for free, and Lucas got, like, $20 of cards and $12 for free, so it was a pretty good tournament, but, um, if you care about the deck profile, here it is, uh, it's pretty standard, I would say, um, yeah, there was an enthusiastic person running the tournament, it was very strange, I don't know if Lucas will comment on that, but he was... He was enthusiastic, and that's great for him. But um, we played three Aratama because they are cool. Um, we played three Nikitama, and we played two Yaksha. Thank you, camera, for not focusing. Uh, one is Inami. I'm kind of thinking about taking it out, but actually today it worked pretty well. Uh, didn't really work well at the regional, but it uh, worked pretty good today, so good job. Uh, we opened... Played three high to Kage to Kage. I opened this twice uh, with no level four in two of these. That was kind of rough. Uh, there was one time against Bujins when I opened two Kage to Kage and a Trigodia, and then I card carded into a BLS and a Trigodia. So that was kind of an awkward moment. Um, uh, we got the Thunder King here. You can see that I did, in fact, get the ultimate Thunder King. Um, the way that me and Lucas has worked it out. I mean, he knows I love ultimates. He doesn't like ultimates. He also doesn't like uh, cards that aren't first in this. Uh, Astral Packs used to not come in first. Actually, I don't think they do, just in general. So he uh, didn't really want it, but I really wanted it, because ultimates are cool. Um, I played two card card. Pretty good cards. Especially seeing people aren't playing Baylor anymore. Uh, two Trigodia. Very decent, I guess. Uh, and then the one BLS, our boss monster, who was pretty boss this weekend. Actually, it's just today, and it's not even the weekend. But um, anyway... Uh, I also played three Pod Duality, three Mystical Space Typhoon, uh, two Lance, two Creature Swap, and then a Dark Hole, a Book of Moon, and a Mind Control. Mind Control worked really well. It didn't work well at the regional, uh, or at least not super well, but today it did. Um, yeah. For the traps, we are main decking in Blackhorn now because we are not an idiot. Uh, took out the Veilers. <clears throat> Just seemed to make sense. Uh, and then we're still playing slutty Phoenix Chain Commons. The uh, entire deck is pretty much hollowed out, except for, I guess I could go to Ulti Trigodia and Ulti Warning, but I think everything else is pretty much highest rarity, except these fucking common Phoenix Chains. Uh, I know Jeff picked me up one super, so I'll just buy the other one. But uh, it's like, every time I draw them, I just get so sad because they're common. Uh, <clears throat> one Psalm Warning, uh, best card in the deck, probably. One Bottomless, one Trenchal, one Seven Tools, one Mirror Force, and I, as I've said in a couple other videos, um, anything like a YCS or higher, I don't know what would be higher than that, maybe Nats, uh, I would definitely play two Seven Tools. Uh, Mirror Force is just way too good against bad players, so I keep it in for locals and regionals, because most regionals they'll be playing four or five rounds of just really shitty players, so. That kind of stuff works against them. Uh, for the side deck, it is two Kaiku. This card is very good. I played against zombies, and it totally put in work. Um, two Maxi, because why not? Um, two Veiler, didn't really side into these. I don't know if I'll keep them in there. I don't even know if I'll keep Maxi in there. Who knows? Uh, three DNA Surgery. Once we get our third Ultra Zombie World, we will take those out. Three Mind Crush, because I didn't look at the side deck beforehand. Or, no, actually, no, we were playing three Mind Crush and two Dust Tornado because I uh, couldn't manage to get a third Super Dust Tornado, so I didn't want to play Mismatching Rarities. And then we played one Memory of an Adversary, because that card is 
okay. It's pretty okay against Bujins. Glad to finally beat that stupid deck, though. That was nice. For the extra, um, it's the extra we've been using for years. For years. Um, two 101, two Exiton, you know, the expensive stuff. Uh, Chain, Emerald, Fairy Cheer Girl, everyone's favorite cheerleader. Uh, fuck. Reptile Santa, that's what this card is called. Uh, Potem Papier Operative, which actually went into three times, and every time it was amazing. Utopia, which we also went into because I needed to get a light. And I knew they had a warning face down, so. Black Ship, put in work, Cowboy. Actually, I ended my top four match by summoning Cowboy, doing 800 damage, creature swapping it, making Black Ship, and getting rid of the Cowboy for game. That was pretty much the sluttiest play I made all day. Uh, Diamond Direwolf, and then Two Dweller. Uh, I don't know. Like, at bigger events, people play Mermails all over the fucking place, but right now, no one's really playing. Normal is at my locals or the regionals I go to. That was the worst side ever. But, um, I don't know. With Medolce's coming out and stuff, $2 might be necessary. So, hopefully, you guys enjoy this deck profile. Check out Lucas's channel on kangarookus at youtube.com. That's not how that goes, but whatever. Uh, see you guys later. Bye.